Hi, it's Tamara Oviatt here. Welcome to my free webinar. <laughs> you know, I did this before and I scripted everything out. And I noticed I kept looking down at paper, I was trying to find things, and so I'm not gonna do that anymore, okay? So this is in between you, me, and God. Creator, of course, is the director on this. I'm the facilitator, and you are going to receive some belief changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through belief changes on money, love, which love also includes communication. Money, you know, you can have lots of money, but you're afraid to spend it, or you're afraid to use it wisely. We're going to clear some of those beliefs. You know, you could be in a great relationship, or you could be in a bad relationship or no relationship. So we're going to clear some beliefs around that. And then health. You could be sick. Or you could be afraid of sick. Or there's sickness that runs in your family. We're going to clear some of that. What about the world beliefs? You know, a lot of people believe that 2012 is the end of the world. Or there's a lot of disasters that are going to happen. And you know what? That's up to us. Us. Because it's our belief systems that create this world. So it's important to clear belief systems out so that we can live in peace and harmony and love and joy and all those wonderful things. So we're going to do some work about all of that today and um, before we get started I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I don't know if you've been to my website. Well if you're viewing this you most likely have. The picture on the top creator of all that is told me or God or spirit or whatever you want to call that amazing energy that's in all things and all of us told me 13 years ago that I was supposed to be a healer. And I heard it over and 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 over again. And I finally said, all right, God, you want me to be a healer, then you prove to me this white light exists. And a friend of, of mine and I were taking pictures for a single site. And, <laughs> yes, yeah, a single site. And she had no lighting on her ceiling or anything. Her room had just been built. There's no lighting or anything up on top. And when we're downloading the pictures, that was one of them. And then there was another one with another bean in the room. Um, you could see through the body, but you could see the body. And then you could see like some colors come off of it. And I really wish I would have kept that photo, but I didn't. And this one I'm just now sharing. And it's been quite a 13 years. I mean, I've gone in and out of my healing work. You know, I've had fears that I was going to die. I was going to be killed. And... And all kinds of stuff for um, doing this work. As a matter of fact, I had a dream last night that um, I was in trouble because I was healing people. Um, so that one I'm still clearing. <laughs> but it's not going to stop me anymore. I'm here. And it has stopped me before. I used to teach angel classes. And I kind of freaked out and um, stopped. Pulled my phone number and moved. <laughs> And then went back into the working world for a while. But I'm back. And we're going to change some belief systems around all of that. And then I'm going to go into, because I, all these things I'm offering to you now, I also have extended workshops on. I'm going to price them super inexpensive. I'm breaking them up into four. So you can choose all four or you could just do one of them. If you go to my products page, I have a lot of CDs that, um, different CDs you can um, download. And I have a free money energy paycheck system on my website also that you can download. It's totally free. The information's in there on how to do it. If you're a little confused, there's a YouTube video that HMI made on this. Um, my idea came from them plus some other places and their information's on there because a lot of the information I got for this was from them. So um, you can watch their video. It's a great system and it definitely works, okay? Um, what else can I tell you? Oh my God, sacred geometry downloads. You gotta go back and look at some older videos of me on YouTube, even a month ago. I look a lot better. <laughs> These sacred geometry downloads is new to me. Um, God brought me over to England. And um, when I asked God what I was doing here, he told me to go to the church in Scotland. And a friend of a friend of mine um, sent me a link on the spiritual library about the Roslyn Chapel and the Sunday style and the codes in there. So I went there and I asked God for the codes um, to download in me because that's something you learn in Theta Healing as I am a Theta Healing Master Instructor 
with a certificate of science. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I downloaded that stuff and then I kept being brought to other sites and other information to download. And one of them is the rejuvenation downloads. And you can read about that like in the Tabernacle of Moses. And I look a lot younger. And I, my friends are shocked. My family are shocked. They're saying when they're looking at a video of me, I look a lot better. And I'm kind of feeling a little insulted because I didn't realize I looked that bad. <laughs> but I have definitely noticed I um, feel a lot better. I don't take any... Um, I used to take caffeine and, and vitamins, all kinds of different vitamins to give me energy. I don't have to do that anymore. And that's pretty cool too. And I definitely feel a lot more calm and a lot happier. And I'm getting a lot of testimonials. This is something new for me, like I said, the um, sacred geometry downloads. But the, the results I'm getting from my clients are just amazing and incredible. But anyways, you're here for this free webinar. So let's get started. Okay, so um, the first one we're going to go into, oh, you should have already viewed the muscle testing um, video on my website. It teaches you how to do muscle testing. Um, the reason muscle testing is important, because I'm going to say some beliefs that you're not going to be sure that you have or you're not going to think you have, but they could be in your DNA line from your genetics, or it could be something you picked up as a child and you're not even aware of it, or it's a history belief or it's a soul belief. And a history belief could be from your past lives if you believe in them. But we come with a lot of different beliefs and stuff from our past lives that affect us in this lifetime. So um, that's why the muscle testing is important. But really, if you haven't watched the video and you're on this, don't worry about it. Um, I'll show you really quick. If it's a yes, it holds strong. If it's a no, it goes through. You can stand up and go back and forth. But again, I'm not going to go through all that right now, so I don't know why I am. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into um, abundance beliefs and money beliefs. And the first one I hear is, if I have a lot of money, I will be killed. So you're going to want to test yourself for that. Yes or no. So I'm just going to pull that belief. And then you can retest it. If I have a lot of money, I'm going to be killed. If I have a lot of money, I will lose all my friends and family. And you're wondering why that is because either they're going to want it all or, or you're afraid they're going to want it all or they're going to be mad at you because you're different than them. It's kind of like growing out of the, um, the segment or, or the family or the tribe. You know what I mean? So we're going to pull that. Ooh, money is the root of all evil. T, have you ever heard that before? Check, see if you believe it. Good. There is not enough money to go around. Let's pull that. And that's another one that comes up. Um, if I have a lot of money, then others will have to do without. So you can check yourself for that. Let's pull that too. Now test yourself for those again. See if they're gone. Remuscle test. Okay. Um, I'm hearing, um, I'm unable to attract money because I am undeserving. So check that. I am undeserving to have lots of money. Okay, let's pull that. Money is a nuisance to me. Ooh. Let's pull that one. Okay, so recheck it. Money is a nuisance to me. Here's another one. If I have a lot of money, I will lose it. Or if I have a lot of money, it will be taken away. 
Or if I have a lot of money, I'll be killed. Can we pull those? <laughs> okay, good. Or if I have a lot of money, I'll have to pay too much in taxes. If I have a lot of money, the government will want it all. You know, I hear that one a lot. It's like, so what? If you have a lot of money, great. You have plenty of money to pay taxes with, right? It'll be more devastating for me to have a lot of money and lose it than it would be to go without. You know what I mean? So a lot of people are afraid they're going to get a lot of money and they're going to learn to live on lots of money and then it's all going to go away and then they're going to have to live on nothing again. So that'll be more devastating than never having it. How about let's pull all that and give you the knowing that you can have lots of money and that you can keep it and you can grow it and you can enjoy it. And let's also give you the knowing that money is ever abundant. That creator of all that is is in charge of your money. Oh, here's another belief. Um, I can only make so much money at my job. My job is in charge of my money. I have to live paycheck to paycheck. Can we clear all that? Good. And let's give you the knowing that money does grow on trees. <laughs> Well, okay, maybe we should give you that one. But how about money is ever abundant and that you can have plenty of money and you know how to and it's safe to. And you have creator's definition and yours is the same. And also, let's give you the knowing that money is just an illusion. And so you can make that illusion anything you wish it to be. And you can release all of the fear of the debt and, and the hatred towards yourself and others around money. So let's pull all that and give you the knowing that money is just energy. And you're allowed to have plenty of energy and you know how to use it safely and easily with love and gratitude for yourself and everybody. Is that okay? Okay, good. Now we're going to move on to health. And health. Health. Um, let me reconnect here. Okay, I know how to be healthy. It's safe to be healthy. Let's download those and let's clear that if you got to know. I know how to be healthy, no, so let's clear that. I'll give you the knowing you do know how to be healthy. I hear disease is everywhere. Disease runs in my family. I will get sick because my mother or father got sick. Let's pull all that. Cancer is like a virus. It's everywhere. I am doomed to kick it cancer. Can we clear that? Okay, here's one. I have to be sick to receive attention. Can we pull that? Fifty percent of women get breast cancer, so I will get breast cancer. Can we clear that? I just heard seventy percent of all deaths end in a heart attack, or are caused by a heart attack, or end in a heart attack. <laughs> so can we pull that? Okay. Well, anger makes me sick, which anger can make you sick, but let's pull that, okay? And what I want you to do is think about your biggest regret right now. What's your biggest regret? Think about that. Let's release it, okay? Okay, good. What's your biggest rejection? How did you really feel rejected in your life? Who rejected you? How were you rejected? Think about that. Who are you most angry at? Can we release that? And I'm sure most of it, it's you. So let's release the anger towards yourself, okay? Okay, 
good. Now, most sicknesses and diseases, well, well, I was going to say most of them, but they are all caused by our belief systems. Because some people say some of them are environmental. Absolutely. A lot of stuff is in our environment. But we have to have the belief system in order to attract it. So if you clear your belief system around diseases and viruses and sicknesses, you should be free of attracting any of them. So, and, and like resentment is the biggest cancer causing and hatred and anger is like kidney disease, not being able to let go. Breast cancer is trying to get your family back together or trying to save your family. I mean, there's a lot of these belief systems that are attached to these diseases. Like AIDS is being unworthy. You know what parasites is? Parasites is you allowing people to suck you dry or to take advantage of you. Do you attract people into your life that take advantage of you? And if you do, then you most likely have parasites and you should probably do a cleanse. And a lot of people just do colon cleanses. You know, parasites can be anywhere in your body. And you should really get something else that's going to get them through your whole body. Um, because I see a lot of parasites in brains. Um, it tripped me out the first time I saw it. <laughs> so, you know, it's important to clear those belief systems because the viruses and the diseases are attracted to your belief systems. So if you clear those belief systems, then you're not going to attract the viruses and the diseases and stuff like that. Okay, so let's give you the knowing that you, you can get in touch with and you know how to get in touch with your deepest belief systems and release them to God, okay? Okay, so let's download, I know how to be healthy. I know what it feels like to be healthy. I deserve to be healthy. I know how to have attention and love in my life free of being sick or having a disease. Is that okay? Okay, good. Okay, now let's go into love. You know, a lot of people don't feel like they deserve love. I know I didn't. Um, I stayed single for over 13 years. Because I had a belief from a childhood belief, well, a couple things, but a childhood belief is that I destroyed love. And you can read about that in my book. And seriously, for the last 13 years I've been single, I actually had my first, well, anyways. <laughs> um, there's a lot of belief systems that can keep you single or they can get you to attract the wrong people in your life or to be used or mistreated. So, um, let's check. I am mistreated. I'm abused. I am used. I'm undeserving of real love. Can we clear those beliefs? I anger other people. Can we clear that? I am undeserving of love. I am not good enough. Others are better than me. I'm unattractive. I'm unlovable. I can never find the right mate for me. There's no one out there for me. And I'm saying all this, and as I'm saying all this, I'm clearing it, okay? So again, it's just your attention, because God knows your heart. It's your attention to allow this stuff to release. It gets released. Okay, now let's teach you I'm lovable. A creator's definition of love and mine is the same. I know how to love myself. I know that the creator loves me and supports me. I know I'm special. I know people can love me and I know they do. I know how to receive love and keep love. I know how to truly and completely love myself. Would you like those beliefs? Just say yes. Okay, now the world. The world is on fire. <laughs> okay, the world is on fire. The world is at war. We will all die. We will suffer. 
We will be locked in chains and locked up like animals. There's no hope for us. 2012 is the end of the world. There's no reason to try or to go on. It's the government's fault. It's religion's fault. It's the Arabs' fault. It's the Jews' fault. It's the uh, America's fault. Can we clear all that? Okay, now let's give you the knowing. I mean, that was a lot of stuff, right? And there's going to be different filters and stuff down in there that we'll get into in the other classes if you're interested in taking them. Let's give you the knowing how to and that it's safe to live in this world and that you know you belong in this world and you know you're safe in this world. And you know how to be safe and you know what it feels like to be safe. You know you're in charge of creating the world we live in and that you know when you bring peace within yourself, you bring peace within the world. You know how to release the fear and and being scared about the world and what's to come. And releasing that into God's hands, giving you creator's truth and understanding of the world in your life and your role in it. Because you know what? You are as important than anybody else in this world. Every single one of us is important. It doesn't matter what title somebody has that makes them more important than somebody else. Okay? You're here, right? That means you're important to this world. And your thoughts and your actions and your beliefs are important to this world. Because we're all connected. All of us. So when we change our thoughts, it shares that with everybody. Like if you've heard the 100 monkey syndrome, you know. In the 50s, they did this experiment on this island in um, Japan. And one of the monkeys started washing her sweet potato. And so every day she'd get, I guess they were dropping sweet potatoes and stuff. And this one monkey started washing it. And the other ones were just eating it all greedy with the sand and everything all on their teeth and all that kind of stuff, right? So she starts washing her sweet potato and then her mom figures it out. And then her mom's friends figure it out. And then before you know it, they're all washing their sweet potatoes, right? And then guess what? On the other side of the island, the other monkeys are now washing their sweet potatoes. So now the whole... Island of monkeys is washing their sweet potatoes. And I guess on another island they started doing it too. And do you really think those monkeys were running to the other side of the island going, Hey, check this out. I washed my sweet potato. No. It's a collective consciousness. And then I was reading this other story where, um, I think it was in the 50s or the 60s. I don't, I don't remember details like that. But um, in Australia they had these... Um, these pictures and they were with all these faces on the pictures and they were showing them to people and people would only see six seven maybe ten faces and there was like hundreds of them and but people wouldn't see it so then what they did is they broadcasted on the BBC in England right and they showed people on the BBC so on this TV channel to mass consciousness about all these faces and showed them where they were right so it's only the BBC in England so now they start showing this to another group of people in Australia and then they can now see all the faces and pick up tons more faces than they could before. Why? Because we're group consciousness. So when we heal within ourselves that's blocking us, it helps the consciousness. So the more we focus on peace and love and joy and happiness and prosperity for all and health for all, that's what happens. So that's why these workshops are so important. And all these areas are very, very important in our lives. You know, I mean, who wants to be in more love? Who wants to be in more health? Who wants to be in more prosperity? And who wants to feel safer in the world? Right? So what I'm doing is I'm breaking these workshops into four. I was going to do eight weeks to freedom. And you could buy it that way, or you could just buy on love, or money, or health, or the world beliefs, and it's two segments. And I'm breaking it down to $50 for two.
that's it. Or, that's it. Just 50 bucks, and you get to do two of the webinars. And then if you want to sign up for more, you're welcome to. And I won't be answering any questions during the webinars, but I am on Blog Talk Radio. I am Tamara. Um, check it out. I don't know what time zone you're in. Um, and you can talk to me live there, or you can always email me and ask me questions. And then I'm getting ready to do some videos on the chakras and the belief systems on the chakras. But what I also I've started doing is sacred geometry. And the sacred geometry, oh my God, just read the testimonials. That's all I got to say. Just read. I look a lot younger. I feel amazing. I feel really, really good. And a lot of people, the drama that they used to be stuck in, they're not stuck anymore. I've got this client that she was just really stuck. She she just didn't feel like she could move forward. She couldn't do anything. People, She felt like people were making fun of her. She's now, just three weeks later after getting these downloads, she's out looking for a job. And this is a 24-year-old that's never worked in her life. I, I'm not kidding, man. This stuff changes your life. I don't have tons of information about the sacred geometry on my website because I'm still learning about it myself. But God told me to start downloading this stuff. And I've read a little bit about it. And it's crazy amazing on how much it changes you. And um, just read the testimonials. That's the best thing I could tell you. Okay? So I offer all kinds of stuff. It's all on my website, learningtolistentogod.com. You can contact me on you can contact me on Twitter and Twitter I am that. I am Tamara. And on Facebook, it's Learning to Listen to God. And on Blog Talk Radio, it's I am Tamara. And my YouTube channel, check out my YouTube channel. How much I've changed over the last month on my aging. Cancel aging. <laughs> I am forever young. Do you want to feel that way? <laughs> Sign up. I also have some downloads um, on some meditation um, CDs and downloads that I can offer to you. Um, my book, Learning to Listen to God, as soon as I start editing it, I'm going to have a couple of the first chapters available. And I've already started my second book, which I think it's called It's Up to Us, We Are the World. I love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.